vegan just makes sense to me. I mean, I travel a lot around the world with my bicycle, travel almost all year long. The biggest impact on the planet right now is the meat and dairy and fish industries, the animal product industries. We're cutting down forests to grow GMO corn and soy to feed cattle. When we, instead of cutting down forests for that, we could be cutting down forests to plant more fruit forests, more biodiversity, so that animals still have planets and uh, so the animals still have homes to live in. The topsoil doesn't get eroded from the the hard hoofs of the animals. In Australia, we see over 50% of Australia is meat and dairy properties grazing. 50%. That's insane. It takes 16 kilos of grain to produce one kilo of animal flesh. So we literally need would need 16 planets if everybody ate like the standard Australian Western diet. People say, yeah, we've got we've got to eat more meat. And I say, no, no, we've got to eat more fruits. We've got to eat more plants. Bananas yield more calories per acre than any other food that humans currently eat. Obviously, a lot of other things aren't even considered food, but of all the foods that we do consume, bananas are the most yielding. And organic banana forests are amazing. You can have one lot of mango, one lot of banana, one lot of durian, one lot of jackfruit. Have this massive ecosystem that doesn't need much water at all. So why vegan? Because it's good for our health, it's good for the planet, and it's good for the animals. Yeah.